，等一下哦，他还在录制哦 ，OK。Okay, this time we stop here, talking about a very simple game, and this is called zero sum game. Um, it, you know, for a game, it really doesn't have to be a zero sum. It can be any anything. Uh, here, we have two parties. Okay, there are two persons who want to sell uh, sandwiches, as far as I can remember, and. So they have two. They have three locations to choose: beginning, middle, and end. So for both parties, they can do the same. Okay, uh, beginning, middle, and the end. So uh, one person may do one thing, but the other person will, you know, react to this person's choice. And of course, it doesn't matter who who is there. Their purpose is to maximize the profit. Okay, the purpose is to maximize the profit, and so, don't uh, worry. Yes. Okay. If Mr. Softy, okay, if Mr. Softy choose beginning, okay. So what is good humor to do? Which location he's gonna choose? Uh. Middle. Okay. Good. Why? Because if he choose beginning, he got, if he got, uh, if he choose middle, he got six uh, seventy five. If he choose the end, he got fifty. Right. So he will choose seventy five. Liu Nijiang. Okay, Liu Nijiang. If Mister Softy choose middle, what would good humor do? Uh, it's a middle. Okay, because beginning he got twenty five, middle he got fifty, and end he got twenty five. So middle is the best. Gao Jia Yan. Oh, sorry, Fara. If Mister Softy choose end, okay, what would Mister Good Humor do? Hello, Fara. If Mister Subti choose end, what would Mister Mister Good Humor do? Is Farah here? You are here, right, Farah? Uh, yes. If Mister Subti choose end, what would Miss uh, Mister Good Humor do? Uh, N is here, right? At the bottom, at the you know, uh, right hand column. If Mister Softy choose N, what would Mister Good Humor do? If he chooses beginning, he got fifty, right? If he chooses middle, he got seventy-five. If you choose the end, he got fifty. So what will Mister Kuchuma do? He will choose seventy-five. Okay. Okay. Gao Jia Yan. Gao Jia Yan. Here. If Mister Kuchuma choose beginning, what will Mister Softy do? Excuse me. 一样是五十那边吧，蓝色的。If good humor choose beginning, right? Yes. And you are looking at the number of blue. Yes, blue color number. 呃，是五十。呃。What will Mr. Softy do? Tell me, if he chooses beginning, how much you get? Fifty. Okay, middle. And twenty-five. Excuse me. Twenty-five. Blue number. Oh. Blue. Ah.、Uh, 
呃，你说他选那个 beginning 吗？那个 good、right. good good， 他选 beginning。Right。哦，一是五十。Are you sure? I say if Mr. Softy choose middle. 哦、oh, ，middle。Which one beginning, right? Softy middle. Yes. Excuse me. 呃，所以是七十五。Okay, seventy five. So, if Mr. Good Humor chooses beginning, what would Mr. Softy do, Gao Jiayuan? You only have three choices, right? Uh, yes. You can choose middle, ah. Yes, because if it chooses middle, you get seventy-five, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, Hong Kai Xuan. Hong Kai Xuan. If Mr. Gu Xiumer choose middle, what would Mr. Softy do? Choose middle. Right, because he got fifty out of middle, right? Twenty-five beginning. Twenty-five n, so he should choose middle. Okay. Xie Xinyu, if Good Humor choose n, what would Mr. Softy do? Choose middle. Okay. So in this case, we have two parties, and they have what we call dominant strategy. Okay. No matter what Mr. Softy do, Good Humor would choose middle. And no matter what, Miss、uh, Good Humor do, Mister Salty will choose middle. But of course, it's not necessarily, you know, so easy that you know someone has a,、uh, a both party has a、uh, dominant strategy. It's not necessarily the case. Okay, let's move on. And this one thing I want to remind you: when we talk about supply demand, right, we get an equilibrium. And the equilibrium is quantity and price. Okay, and when we talk about consumers, that will be the same thing. Consumer choose, you know,、uh, how much for bundle X or bundle Y. Okay, and what's the price the consumer pay? And that will be the same thing for producer. You know, how much、uh, to produce and how much price to charge. Okay, but for game theory, it's different. We care about strategy. Okay, we care about strategy. So in terms of this case here, the, I mean, the equilibrium is not, uh, fifty fifty. Okay, fifty for good humor, fifty for Mister Softy. That is the payoff. Okay, that's the payoff. What's the equilibrium? The equilibrium is strategy. Okay, so in this case, good humor choose middle, and Mister Softy choose middle. Okay. So the equilibrium is not fifty-fifty. That is the payoff. We want to know strategy, just like the same thing, right? Xie Jingyong. Oh, Xie Jingyong. After playing a goal, right? What is goal, Xie Jingyong? Uh, how to play? We all. It's a game. Oh.、Uh. Uh, 有点忘记了。It is a very complicated game. A little bit like chess. Oh, wait, he. Right, exactly. So you know, after a game of go, right? What are people discussing? They are not discussing how many, uh, you know. Points lost or whatever, they are talking about strategy. Okay, so that's the same thing here. In game theory, we talk about strategy. <coughs> okay, again, Xie Yifang. So now we have, you know, two people, of Mr. Buckley and Mr. Whitmore. Okay, and they have、uh, two choices: support social security cuts. And oppose social security cuts. Okay, so, Xie Yifang, if the Huimo want to cut, okay, cut social security, 
what would Mr. Buckley do? So if Mr. Whitmore choose this one, right? Cut social security. What would Mr. Buckley do? <clears throat> mm -hmm. You only have two choices, right? Yes. You would, which one will he choose? Oh. Cut, support cut or oppose cut. Sorry, I, I sort of you know. oh. The first one support, right? Support and oppose, support and oppose, right? Mm. You want to support the cut or oppose the cut? So Mr. Huimos, support the cut. Okay, you look at here, right? This direction. And what will Mr. Body do? Mm. Support or oppose? Oppose. Oppose. Because suppose he got 52, right? Oppose he got 55. Okay. Then, uh, even again, if Mr. Huimo oppose, oppose the cut. What would Mr. Bounty do? Uh, uh, Suppose so he got how much? 40, 43. Oppose, how much he got? 49. So which one will you choose? 49. Exactly, so oppose, okay? So in this case, it doesn't matter what Mr. Huimo do, Barkley will always oppose, okay? So, Wang Zixi. Hey. If Mr. Barkley support the cut, okay? Mr. Barkley support the cut, what would Mr. Huimo do? This if Mr. Bartley support the cut, okay, you look at here, right? This direction, he support the cut. So what will Mr. Huimo do? On this side. If Mr. Huimo support the cut, how much he got? I don't know. The number is here, you say you don't know. Why? You are not looking at the PPT? Wangzhi, if Mr. Bali put here oh. support social security card, right? What would Mr. Huimo do? Wangzhi. What is happy? Why? Have you? Okay. You are not here. Chen Xichai. Chen Xichai. Hey. What is the screen you're looking at? It's 13.1 application, right? Mm -hmm. So, Wang Zixi, what are you looking at? Wang Zixi. What's on your screen? Hey, the why? We so what's going on? Okay, Chen Ji Chan. If hey. Mr. Bob is supposed security cut, social security cut, what would Mr. Huimo do? Oppose. Oppose, wow. right? Because yeah. oppose he got 57. If support, he got 48. Okay? Hong Xiaohui. Zai. Okay. If Mr. Buckley oppose social security cuts, what would Mr. Huimo do? Uh, support. Su support? How much you get if he support? 55. No, no, no. I'm looking at this direction. Uh, 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 Mr. Huimo is blue. Oppose. Oppose, right? Okay. Yes. 
So you need to know what's going on here, okay? Because game theory will be in the final. This will be in the final. You've got to know what's going on here. Otherwise, you will fail. So the same thing here. No matter what Mr. Huimo do, Mr. Bundy will oppose social security card, okay? And no matter what Mr. Huimo do, Mr. Bundy, sorry, no matter what Mr. Bundy do, Mr. Huimo will oppose social security cards. So what is social security? Basically it means benefits to people and you need people's votes, okay? You need ballots, you need to be elected. So if you oppose social security cuts, it means you oppose welfare to people. And in those cases, you won't be elected. You won't get any votes, okay? So that's the reason, though, no matter what happened, Mr. Huimo will oppose social security cuts. Mr. Bobby will oppose social security cuts. This is the way to get votes, to get elected. Okay, let's move on. So here it is a little bit difficult because, uh, you know, sometimes there's uncertainty involved. For example, do you know whether you will run today? No, you don't, right? Of course, there is weather report, but it's not always accurate, okay? So there are about, you know, information structure, imperfect information, we will not, you know, discuss all these issues because it's gonna make a game a lot more complicated. So let's move on. Ah, uh, well, it is again about information structure, so forget about it. Uh, you know, this is again in 1951, and you know, I really don't care much about the baseball game of America. So if you are interested, you can check it. Okay, prisoner's dilemma. So I already told you the story. We have two criminals, okay? But the judge, or they say the prosecutor, does not have information sufficient information to prosecute the two but you know they have some information about them so in this case they're going to segregate them basically keep one person in one room and the other the other and so they are not able to communicate and so in this case the uh prosecutor may say i know everything about it because the other guy already told me so you better be honest, or otherwise you will be, you know, in prison for a much longer time. Because of this threat, okay, and he has no idea about what the other person is going to do to him. And so everyone, okay, wants to get the best out of it, okay? Everyone wants to maximize profit. And in this case, maximize profit means to be, you know, fewer, uh, less time, okay, less time in the prison. And so everyone is doing the same. But because everyone wants to maximize the profit to be in the prison as little as they can, and so they tell the truth. And because they tell the truth, the prosecutor know everything, has the evidence, and so they both stay longer. So originally, they what they want to do is to be you know, out of jail as soon as possible, but it turns out that they have to stay in jail much longer time. So this is what we call dilemma, okay? Okay, move on. Okay, so we have uh, here, it is non-repeated prisoner's dilemma, okay? We have two uh, companies, one is called Fuji and one is called Kodak, okay? Wang Xiaohui. Okay, so the best for these two companies is to keep high price, right? Keep high price. If they can keep high price, they get more profits out of it. But 
if the other one cut price and the other one, I mean, if Fuji cut price and Kodak didn't, well, what happened? Kodak gonna lose business. The same thing if Fuji cuts the price, okay, and Kodak didn't. So, I mean, if one cut, the other didn't. The one didn't cut will suffer, okay? So, Huang Zhihui, if Kodak could loop, keep the high price, what would Fuji do? Defend low price. Okay, low price, okay? Because he didn't cut, and if Fuji cut, he got more business, okay? So, again, Lu Yuxiang not here, right? Lu Yuxiang. Okay, Jin Shenda, if Kodak defect, he cut price, what would Fuji do? Again. Excuse me? Zai zai yi If Kodak defect, defect means cut price. If Kodak, Kodak defect cut price, what would Fuji do? No price. No price, exactly, okay? So, doesn't matter what Kodak do, okay? Fuji will always defect and cut price. Okay, now, Zheng Yilin, oh. if Fuji could okay, keep high price, Fuji could oh. keep high price, what would Kodak do? Defect low price. Defect low price, because high price, he got 500, low price got 600, so he, of course, want to make more. Okay, and don't the way, if Fuji choose low price, what would Kodak do? Uh, low price. Okay, because if Fuji choose low price and Kodak choose high price, he got 100. If he yeah. choose Low price, he got 300. So of course you want to maximize his profit, right? Want to get more. So in this case, you know, as a matter of fact, if both of them keep high price, they can get 500 each, right? But because they are worried about the other will defect. So they ended up defect and got 300 each instead. So this is what we call prisoner's dilemma. It means that originally they can get something better, but Unfortunately, they cannot cooperate. And so they just have to stay with the low profit to each. Of course, in this case, we say they cannot communicate, okay? But it is not the reality. Sometimes people, you know, do communicate. Some companies do communicate to collude. So I told you before, China Airline, Evergreen, and many United, uh, airlines of the United States, they all collude, okay? When they collude, of course, they charge higher price to consumers. And they, uh, after they've been discovered, they have to pay a high price for their collusion. Okay, let's move on. So, well, this is a, you know, typical case that, you know, people want to do more for themselves. But sometimes, Okay, but sometimes it may not be the case, okay? Of course, it depends on the design of the game. So let's move on here. Okay, so let us see what we'll do. Okay, if Polly choose confess, what will Tony do? Lin uh, Yu if Polly Choose confess. What would Tony do? Yes, confess. Okay, because if he don't confess, he will get ten years. Okay, and Lin Yuxiang again. If Polly choose don't confess, okay, what would Tony do? Uh, don't confess. Confess. Okay, good. Bora. Yes. Okay, if Polly choose confess, okay, uh, sorry, if Tony choose confess, 
What will Polly do? Uh, confess. Confess. Because confess got six years. Don't confess got ten years. So, you know, of course, this, this person is going to confess and get six years. And so, again, uh, Farah, if Polly choose don't confess, what would uh, Tony do? Uh, confess. Okay. So in this case, what will both do? Because no matter uh, what Polly do, okay, Tony will always choose confess. And no matter what uh, Paul, uh, sorry, Tony do, Polly will always choose confess. So in this case, they will both confess. So it tells you uh, a different kind of design. And so here, a game in which all players have a common dominant strategy that results in a worse outcome than if they, uh, sorry, why, why this is not here? So if they cooperate, you know, it's going to be something different. Okay, let's move on. So if this game is repeated, okay, it will be different. Okay, if this game is repeated, it's going to be different. And also, people can communicate. Oh, so if we, you know, uh, forget about those kind of restrictions, it's going to be different. Okay, let's try something different here. Go down here. Remember, okay, remember this case? Tony would confess. Okay, Polly will also confess. And if they both confess, they'll be in jail for much longer. Okay? But let's look at what will be here. Okay. If Polly choose confess, what will Tony do? Uh, don't confess. Don't confess? Okay, good. And if Polly choose don't confess, what will Tony do? Don't confess. It, right. Okay? So, Hong Dan Xuan. If Tony choose confess, what will Polly do? Don't confess. Don't confess, okay? And if Tony choose don't confess, what will Polly do? Yes, don't confess. Okay. So, Xie Jin Yo, why these two games are so different, right? The first one, they all confess, right? The second one, they don't confess. So why? You know, the point is, you, you, now we look at the first one, right? Mm. They are only in jail, right? For 10, 1, 6, 3 years, right? Okay. What about here? Oh, if what you confess, what's going to happen? Yes. Right? So mm. will you confess? No. The answer is no. So, under what kind of situation will this kind of situation happen? Mafia, right? Uh, Yin Yixiang, what's Mafia? Hei Bang Ho. Excuse me? Hei Bang Ho. Mm, bang Tai. More than that. Mafia. Very famous in Italy. Hei hey, Sodang. Right. So if you betray, means you do not follow the orders. Okay, if you betray, you do not follow the orders of mafia, what will happen? You will die, right? It's not three years, one year in jail. It is death. So will they confess? They won't, okay? So it shows you that, you know, under different kind of design, under different kind of situation, the game will be different, okay? So you see, that's one of the reasons 
most of the mafia they would rather die rather than you know betray because if they betray they will die themselves and their family will die too so that's the point so very cruel right okay anyway <clears throat> and so here is the um one of the interesting example here in uh, in the us in taiwan all the same thing in taiwan we have uh what's that called uh Chan Kun, okay and also Quan Guo Dianzi. so Wang Zixi, Wang Zixi, if you purchase something at Quan Guo Dianzi and you found out at uh you know Chan Kun has a low price what happened What could you do? Sometimes you call match price. M-A-T-C-H, match price. What does that mean? Okay, Chen Xixai. Hey. You see what I'm talking about? If you go to Chengguo Dianzi, buy something right and you found out that Sanquan has something the same thing that's cheaper so what would you do no i mean these two companies have matching price policy so if you find out something that is cheaper i will match the price and give you 10 percent of the difference so for example you found out you know the same item okay it is one hundred dollars lower i will give you one hundred dollars and also ten dollars back so it means it's just like these two companies uh sorry three office depot staples office max they all offer matching lower price if you can find the same thing at a different store at a low price we will give you you know the difference but also give you 10 percent more of the difference okay this is called low price guarantee okay look at here is a low price guarantee you know supposedly this is going to be something good for consumers but as a matter of fact they implicitly okay collude the price and because of that they will give you the same price and you will never get a lower price at the other stores okay Chen okay. Xixai can you tell me can you tell everyone what I'm talking about here Chen Xixai hey can you try to tell people what's going on what what do I mean right so uh anyway Huang Xiuhui, would you try what I'm talking about here um no no okay oh yes excuse me I'll try what okay sure go ahead Hong Xiong Hui. Hong Xiong Hui. Answer. Okay, let's say you, you buy a TV, right? Okay, go ahead. You want to say something? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what are you doing? I need answer. Do you have answer? Uh, no. Wang Jiawe. Would you like to try? Uh, so let us say 
there's a TV, okay? If Changhuan or Chenguo Dianzi cut price, of course, the other party gonna lose, right? Because Changhuan say, my TV is $10,000, and you know, Chenguo Dianzi also $10,000, right? Yeah. If you can find a TV, the same TV, okay, at Chenguo Dianzi, say, 9,900, okay, that is $100 lower, okay? So if you buy at Changguan $10,000, okay, and you find out at Quanguo Dianzi only $9,900, so what, you, what can you do? You can tell Changguan, okay, I find out Quanguo Dianzi only $9,900, so please give me $100 back plus $10 because you promised to give me, you know, refund the $10, 10% difference, okay? So this is the way it works. So, because this kind of competition, both will check the other's price, and they never find out a lower price. So even though, so this is the trick. The last night here, retail stores offer low price guarantee, and they are often not low price stores, okay? So because they know if they cut the price, they're gonna suffer, okay? Their profit gonna go down, so what happened? they never cut the price. Okay, so they never have low price, first hand. Okay, Feng Xiaohui, would you like to try to explain a little bit what I'm talking about here? Right. So could you tell more? Uh, 就是为了让, 就是很多... 消費者跟他們購買,所以他們會一直把價格壓低,可是這樣可能會最後會讓彼此都就是利潤都就是為了讓消費者向他們購買,然後就是利潤可能會一直往下壓之類的。Yes. So actually they don't cut price. Okay? Just like, you know, the game we just talked about. Okay, move on. So sequential game is also important, but you know we don't have time to discuss it. So please read that on your own. So here is simultaneous game. So they move together. Okay, they move together. Okay. So when Ben choose left, Jerry either choose top or bottom. Okay. Or Jerry choose top or bottom, then Ben choose level right. Okay. So they choose the same thing together. And here it is, first you have to wait for some to move and the other to move. And that is when you play chess, okay, or you play golf. That is the way it works. So, sorry, we don't talk about it. And here, why Ukraine want to fight? It is because the Russia attacked them first, so they have to react. Okay, so things like that. Okay, this is also an important part of the final. Okay, remember, this is a very important part of the final. It will be in the final. Mixed strategy. Okay, mixed strategy. So when we have mixed strategy, what does that mean? That means sometimes, uh, you know, we are not able to find out a pure strategy equilibrium. Okay, so, you know, for the prisoner's dilemma, or the, uh, you know, uh, sandwiches stand. We all have a dominant strategy, we can find equilibrium, but here you are not able to. So let's check, uh, see if you can get it. Jin Zhen Dao. Jin Zhen Dao here. No. Okay, Jin Zhen Dao, if Kok choose low price, what will Pepsi do? Coke choose low price. Uh, low price. Are you sure? If Coke choose low price, what would Pepsi do? If Coke choose low price, what is? Are you sure? Can you check that again? Coke. It's Coke. Right. Coke choose low price. What would uh. Pepsi do? Blue number. 
啊，四百五。Okay, so what's that? Heavy advertising, right? Okay. Yeah. And if Coke choose heavy advertising, what will Pepsi do? Kim Jong Nam. Low, low price. Okay. So is it the same? Is it the same? Same what? <laughs> the same. Yeah. Are you sure? No. So my young. Okay. Let me turn up a little bit. Okay. In this case, right? No matter what Polly do, Tony will always don't confess. Okay. Jin Zheng Dao, you get it? Yes. And no matter what Polly do, Tony will not confess. And no matter what Tony do, Polly will not confess. So they have dominant strategy. Okay. Okay. And it is the same. Okay. And now right. here. Okay, Jin Zheng Dao again. When Coke choose low price, what would Pepsi do? Heavy advertising. Okay. Yeah. And when Coke choose heavy advertising, what would Pepsi do? Low price. Right? Is it the same? No. No, it's different. Okay. So, um, Zheng Yili. That. If Pepsi choose low price, what would Coke do? Low price. Low price. Okay. And when Pepsi choose heavy advertising, what will he do? Uh, heavy advertising. Right. So you see that. So if Coke changes its choice, Pepsi will ch change. Is choice two, right? So they both changing. Okay, they both changing. Okay, so if Pepsi choose low price, okay, okay, then Pepsi would choose heavy advertising because if he choose low price, he got three fifty. Heavy advertising, he got four fifty. But if Pepsi choose heavy advertising, what would Coke do? Because if he continue to choose low price, he get five sixty. But if he choose heavy advertising, he got six hundred, right? So because of that, he will choose six hundred. But when Coke choose heavy advertising, what would Pepsi do? Pepsi would choose five hundred. So that's low price to get five hundred. And if he, if Pepsi choose low price, what would Coke do. He will choose low price too, because if he choose heavy advertising, he got only five eighty. If he choose low price, he got six hundred. So there is no end, right? So when Coke choose low price, Pepsi choose heavy advertising, and Pepsi choose heavy advertising, he will choose low price. So it's continue to move. So there is no equilibrium. For such cases, we will use the idea called mixed strategy. Okay, mixed strategy basically means probability. Okay, so I will use. I mean, I'll give you examples. Let us say fifty percent low price or fifty percent heavy advertising, or you know, Pepsi thirty percent low price, seventy percent heavy advertising. So in the final, you are required to figure it out. What is the probability for Coke to use low price or heavy advertising, and the same thing for Pepsi, low price, heavy advertising? So let's look at the explanation here. Here is another case. Okay, here is another case, and we, uh, you know, we need to check the book. There is a very good example in the book. Okay, let me see what you know the PPT will bring us. Oh, sorry. So 
uh, we really need to check the book. So page 13. Okay, so let us stick here. <clears throat> so you have low price and heavy advertising, and you have Pepsi and Coke. So let us take a break. We will get to the uh, page 366 of the textbook. Okay, take a break. <clears throat> 